to my channel I'm gonna get into your reading right now okay um this is going to be what's coming the next what is coming towards you in the next 48 hours in love okay so this is the reading you don't want to miss all right just go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up for me um as soon as you come in um for all my returning seekers you know that I love you guys so 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 much Thank you all for the love and thank you for the support that you show here on the channel. I do see the love and believe me, the love is not going unnoticed, okay? Um, let me get into a quick prayer, y'all, and then I'll just flow with the rest of this read. Um, but just know that this is a general one, all right? So it won't resonate to every single one of you. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. My body is a vessel. Giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you want me to share, the ones that needs to know. And with fun, I do give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, Gemini. So once again, it is a general one. It's not a personal, okay? If you do need to have a personal reading, you can always contact me for a personal reading. The information that you will need and how to connect with me will be in the description part of this video. Wow, that one's already out. Let's see. All right. Next 48 hours. What's coming in towards Gemini? In love. What does Gemini need to know about their situation? What's coming in towards them in love? I'm getting first quarter here. First quarter moon. It's time to commit. All right. So you're either needing to commit um, to whatever it is. All right, that is coming in towards you or someone needs to do just that with you. But I'm getting a commitment here um, that needs to be reclaimed um, or you need to reclaim your power. It's what's coming in for the next 48 in love here. Okay. Be one with nature here is what I'm also getting here. All right, I'm getting, we might need to separate yourself from a couple of things here because at this point, you're kind of not getting any way in anywhere based on what your emotions are giving you right now or what others' emotions are giving you right now. You might have to retreat to a peaceful place. Yeah, it's called a movement here. Inspiration is drawn to motion. Yeah, it's time to separate yourself from whatever is that blocking your energy here. Um, okay, what's holding you back? Angels are saying, what is, what is exactly holding you back here? What is it that is holding you back here? There's something that is holding you back here. Gemini is what I'm getting here. It's having you kind of hit rock bottom here. So something is what I'm getting. Tell me more, angels. What's coming towards Gemini within the next 48, please? In love. What is coming in towards Gemini in love, next 48? Change is important. So there's a change that needs to happen here. Um, release the past. All right. So the past situation needs to be let go of here. I'm getting a mirror, mirror. I'm feeling like you need to take a reflection um, about what is happening in the now here. Look in the mirror and see what's happening here. Trust in your intuition is what I'm getting for some of you. I'm getting there's maybe a third party coming through here. The beauty you see in you. All right, is your reflection in you, right? Is what I'm getting here. Mm -hmm. There may be a, a, a third party situation that is kind of creeping its way here. I'm getting three of the crowns, what I'm getting. Yeah, someone's looking for the truth here. I'm getting there. You're going to find something out here in the next 48 years. The truth. Stay true to yourself, though. Okay? For some of you, you may get this truth, but you're not really ready. To hear, oh look at that! You're not really ready to kind of connect to the truth. Is what I'm getting. Yes. Mhm. Mm you're not ready for it. Um, but just go for it, okay? Just go for the truth. 
What do you got to lose here? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Third card in the picture. Hello. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting this. I'm getting this third party is doing some kind of a spell here. Ritual for some of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's kind of indulging it with some magic wand here. Yep. You're going to find all this out with the next 48. I'm feeling like some of you already found this out. Then, bring magic and self-care together. All right? Focus yourself and your energy on one thing. Because you know what? Because three is a crowd. Hello. Yeah? Tell me more what's coming in towards Gemini within the next 48 in love. Love and mother yourself is what they're saying. What I'm getting, yeah. Love and mother yourself. All right. Somebody's on some witchy medicine type of thing. Connect to hurt. Yeah, somebody's somebody's trying to figure some things out, trying to get into your head. Trying to find you get into your peace. Trying to connect with your energy here on some spell and ritual. I'm getting you already. Are you already a masterpiece here? Some of you totally forgot that. What's coming to for Gemini in the next 48, please? All right, I'm getting the number 13. That might be significant for some of you. The number 13. Um, this number 13 is giving me divine feminine here. Step into your power. So you're going to have to use your power here. Use your grace here. Um, tap into self-care, self-love here. This third party is in, 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 in the mess. I'm getting third party is in. If you didn't find out about this third party or know about this third party, this third party is here. In the next 48 hours, something is going to come to fusion here. I'm getting a focus on your energy here because somebody's trying to tap into it, okay? Somebody's tapping into it. I'm getting um the blue moon here. Um, Somebody might have done something around that time or about to, okay? I'm getting number 13. Number 13, y'all. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting movement here. I'm getting this person may they may they may be starting with a D or end with an A or something. Okay. That's what I'm that's what I'm hearing. This person, their name either starts with a D or has a D in it or ends with an A. Something's gonna come out to light, is what I'm getting. All right, tell me more. Can I these cards, please, for Gemini, please? What's coming in towards Gemini? We're in the next 48 in love, please. Can I these cards for Gemini, please? Next 48. Next 48 in love for Gemini, please. Next 48 in love for Gemini, angels. Next 48 in love for Gemini. Tell me more. Okay. All right. All right. On the back of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Okay. So, what I do feel is like you shouldn't share anything more with this person because there's a lot of betrayal that's coming through, okay? I'm getting there's a lot of laughing and a, not, a lot of mind game manipulation that's coming through here. I do see you walking away from this disaster here. Disaster that's filled with nothing but conflicts and arguments here is what I'm feeling. Um, I do feel like you already found this out. Um, your intuition already tell you that something is going on with this individual here. They may have taken something away from you. This could be a mental taken down um, in more than in the emotional, okay? But what I do feel is like you've already healed or trying to heal or walking away from this nonsense is what I'm seeing here with this five of swords in the reverse. All right, so what we have here is this king, king of wands. And I do feel like this king of wands, uh, you may be dealing with a Leo for some of you. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is night and day, day and night. All right. Um, I do feel like within the next 48, this person is going to come to you with some kind of kind of an offer here. Uh, maybe for a second chance with you. 
but I do feel like you're not about to take the second chance. You want to move forward and start your healing process is what I'm seeing here. Um, your healing process is also giving me the Four of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like this person is not ready to really open up and even give you everything as far as uh, clarity um, as to why certain things happen. Um, I do see them being very selfish, holding on to what they their possessions here. Um, not only they're holding on to their possessions, but they're holding on to the way that they feel um, about how they think they how they feel things should be moving forward within the next forty eight. Okay, um, I do feel like this person is lost. Okay, um, and very selfish at times, um, walking around with, a, with an ego, but is ten things for certain and a million things for sure. Is that this Empress is coming through and this Empress re uh, resonates with you and where you're standing at this point um, is feeling and knowing all your, your worth and how much you could take uh, moving forward and on. Um, with this Empress being here and this Queen of Cups, it's showing me that you're about your manifestation, you're about rebuilding your power in your life again and tapping into spiritual energy here. Um, just receiving these blessings, a massive amount of blessings that's flowing here on your behalf. I do feel like karma is about to strike really hard on this side of town. And I do see you walking away and not trying to be a part of drama or trying to be a part of karmic karmas. Okay, is what I see you not doing. I see um, you healing um, and walking away and, and not trying to be liable for anything that might have happened in the past here. Um, for some of you, this third party situation really got you shook up is what I'm feeling. Um, and I do feel like there's a, 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 there's definitely an apology that wants to come through that one is really needed here. But because of pride, Gemini, I really think this situation is not going to come towards you with a sincere apology, even though I feel like there's one that needs to really, really happen here because you deserve to have an apology. But I feel this person is person being very hard to deal with at times and being very manipulative here. Um, this person might have even left you with a lot of responsibility here. Uh, broken promises for some of you. But I see where you're going to get past it with this Empress being here and with this Queen of Cups. Um, man manifesting what your life is ordained to manifest is what I see you doing. Now let me clarify this Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. All right, so I'm getting the Three of Pentacles, the Justice here. All right, okay. So you, I see you healing from this, okay? Um, I see you healing from this. I see you tapping into energy and doing what you got to do here. Um, this Three of Pentacles having me feel like you are not about to be blindfolded anymore. Um, you just want to go ahead and start the process, the healing process, the motion process. Um, to kind of regain strength once again, because for some of you definitely had lost your strength. Um, yeah, and there was definitely no communication coming in. Uh, and I do feel like this person is still not coming in with any communication here um, between the two of you. Um, and I do see them just being this, being manipulative. I see you walking away from me. You're about to walk away the Six of Swords. You're about to just cut loose and just forget about it is what I see you doing here. Um, because you um, are already healed from the past here. And I feel like you're not trying to make any further mistakes here. This Three of Pentacles in the reverse and this Eight of Swords also in the reverse is having me feel like you're healed. You're healed here. Um, and you're not about to make any more mistakes. You're not trying to reverse is what I'm seeing here. With the Justice also being here, I feel like Justice has already done what that, that needs to do here. Um, I'm getting forgiveness that needs um, to happen on your side and either to have the 100% of healing power towards you um, and knowing what you're going to do moving forward. Just know that your situation is still at a standstill. I see this person still being stuck, um, trying to find their way out, um, but I do see fear coming in. Just know that this fear also resonates to a fear that you might have felt, past, present, or future. For some of you feel like you could not um, surpass what this person might have done to you. But this person is still playing a war here, okay, with oneself. I see you healing from it. I definitely see healing power coming in. I see um, 
manifestation here is what you're about to do. Um, I see you moving forward here. I'm getting luck. I'm getting whatever it is that you are putting your mind to as far as financial is concerned. Opportunity are going to come knocking within the next 48 is what I'm getting. Um, I'm getting you fighting for your power. Here's nine of pentacles, put planting seeds and protecting your energy here. This ten of uh, swords here, okay? You've healed from this anxiety and depression. For some of you haven't had good night's sleep, okay? I see you doing that um, very, very soon and putting everything at an end here. I see you putting everything at an end. I'm getting the, the nine of swords, the ten of the, the ten of swords. You heal from this. You're not going back down memory lane is what I'm seeing here, okay? And that is a very sad, sad one that you don't want to be a part of. Um, and I'm getting that your person is very sorry for what they did, but it's much too little too late is what I'm getting. Um, you're, you're terrified of even the thought of going back in the reverse is what I'm seeing here. I'm getting in the next 48. There may be a phone call that's coming through. Um, something or someone is on the other end. Uh, this person may have gotten the courage to say something, um, even though they might not be ready. But they either want to hear your voice to kind of pick up your energy to see if they'll be able to talk with you. But this is what I see coming in. Someone that really wants to come in and say something, but they're kind of building up the courage to really come out and say what they have to say. Because what I do see is them fighting a battle here. They're fighting a battle. They're filled with nothing but fear. And this fear is one that is generated into a karmic energy and karmic persons over here, okay? And you're about your, your journey that you're embarking on right now, making yourself a better self and moving forward to bigger and better things, okay? That is going to be your reading for today. Um, This is your next 48 in love. And I will see you in my next one. Um, always remember to seek first and you will always find.